Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for watching. It's me, Ben with Maker Decor. And for today's video, super candy excited, we're gonna be making a candy bar. All right, let's get started. I don't know if this is gonna work, but let's give it a try. <laughs> Use the soft side. I was using this one, I think. I don't think that was good for it. The soft side works better less scrapes.
All right, let's see if my idea is even gonna kind of work. We're not done. No oh, way. Oh, wow. All right, we're on the right track. Oh, man. Check it out from the front. Dang, does that not look glossy, smooth? Like, man, I can't wait till I get the top on. It's going to be a perfect for. Uh, all sorts of snacks, goods, everything. It just looks, has that clean exact look I was going for. None of those outside borders, nothing that makes it look like wood. Oh man, I can't wait to peel this off. I gotta build the top, which is probably the, well, I don't wanna say the hardest part, but I gotta do some measurements. But if you buy the plans, uh, I already broke all the measurements for you, so a lot easier, but I gotta figure that out right now. So I did wanna cover a couple of things. When I first designed this candy cart, really what I wanted to do was have something clean. I know you see a lot of times when you see candy bars or candy carts, there's a lot of framing on the outside. And I wanted a smooth, clean outside. And the reason I wanted that is just because it, uh, it's a different look. Um, but also, I wanted something smooth and easy to wipe down. So I wanted something that um, after you do candy treats or whatever you actually decide to put it in here because you can put so many different things in here But whenever you do that you can easily just use a sponge or um, Something wet just to wipe off the cloth especially with candy or anything Sometimes you'll get some stuff on here and I want something you can wipe off With wood you can you put some clear coat but eventually you have to keep messing with it keep messing with it And I just don't like the look of wood around the food especially uh, for containers I've seen it I just didn't like it um, so what I did is I actually found some vinyl um, that you can put over this and I'll link the vinyl in the description below the, the one I use but I do want to say you don't have to do the vinyl you can keep it wood keep it simple for whatever you want to do um, but for me when I see food I want something that I, if this got on there I could just wipe this off with a little cloth and it's it's clean again versus wood it's it's not the same to me if you're gonna be renting something like this out, you, you really want it looking high end. And so I wanted something that looked like that. And I was trying to think of a lot of ways they could do it. And then um, I came across this vinyl and I was like, well, let me see if it works. So definitely takes a little bit of practice. Um, this is pretty good for my first try with it. I'm not really someone who's really great with vinyl. I have a cricket machine, not that great with it. Um, but this was pretty good and pretty forgiving. Um, definitely a little scotch tape sometimes around the edges, but uh, it worked out clean. I definitely love the look it gives. It's like so glossy, so clean. It doesn't look like wood at all. And so um, that was kind of the idea behind this. Um, I want it looking clean and different from what everybody else has. And I know I get so many comments about it and uh, so many messages. I needed to make this foldable or at least collapsible so you can fit it into your van. Um, your SUV, whatever you do, and then also snacks, balloons, whatever you're doing has to be collapsible. So definitely took a while to get this design together, but definitely love the way it came out. It all folds apart. Everything works out great. All this is is just um, acrylic that I cut out on the laser cutter, and then I'm just putting a command sticky on it. That's it. I'm super excited about this. I, I just love the uh, glossy vinyl that's the one I got for it. It just, it just makes everything look a lot more professional um, than just wood. So wood looks great on a candy car or pedestals because it's usually meant for cake or cupcakes or snacks like that. But this has actual food and these canisters are food grade, like embedded inside of it. So that's really why I wanted this type of look for it. Um, definitely gives me a lot more um, comfort um, looking at this and I can just wipe it down, take out the canisters and wipe it all down. I also did want to mention that definitely while building this, I learned a lot of stuff that's going to be, will, I will make some adjustments and I will have them in the plans. I will have make some notes of how I made it in the video versus how I, how, what's a better way now that I built it. 
um, just so you don't go through some of the stuff, extra steps I had to go through. Super excited about this one. I, I was torn. I also wanted to try some other stuff of like getting bigger containers, um, stuff like that. But uh, definitely love this way, the way this came out. Um, I will have in the plans, most likely, uh, some other container arrangements because you can do this with anything. You can do this, um, tacos, whatever you want to do, your little stand, whatever your little gig, your little business, whatever you want to start. Um, you can find food grade canisters for this. This is great. It's a new car set up and awesome. You're on your way. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, make sure to check out our plans on our Etsy store. Thank you for all the support that helps us be able to do more stuff like this. And I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Definitely helps push the video more.